Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title, today's video is going to be a Boohoo plus size clothing haul. I have an array of tops, skirts, blazers, dresses um, to try on. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd stick around. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe. It would mean the absolute world. So with Boohoo, I really like Boohoo as a lower priced end um, online shopping brand is the wording I was looking for. Um, I think a lot of their stuff is really reasonably, reasonably priced um, and is great for everyday use. Sometimes I do have an issue with the quality, um, but a lot of my stuff is boohoo. A lot of it I've washed and worn and worn again and it's been absolutely fine. There's just been the odd thing that has been a bit like, mm, but we'll avoid that chat today and we'll just see what this is all like. So I'll start off with a few of the tops and then work my way back to the more full outfits for you. So the first item I'm going to start with is this top. If you know me at all, you'll know that I love floaty tops, um, floral prints and basically this. Um, I do think the colours in this aren't as, not as bright but I think it's a bit more muted than I'd probably like. I don't know if it's going to wash me out, I'm a little bit pasty um, but I really like this. So it's an off the shoulder top, it does have like a three quarter length potentially elbow length sleeve depending on how long you are um, and then a little bit of a ruffle and it's one of those kind of crinkly fabrics so I don't think it's meant to be ironed I might just be making an excuse there um, but yeah let's try this on okay so this is the first top um, I thought I was gonna like this but I really don't I just think it makes me look so frumpy this is in a size 22 um, I think I probably should have downsized I think since lockdown my shape's changed a little bit and I'd say I'm Basing on all the clothes I've bought recently, I'd say I'm a size 20, not a size 22, uh, which is a great thing. But yeah, I think I'm just over-egging the sizes. It's really baggy. I don't know if that's meant to be the case. I know it's meant to be floaty, but is baggy the same thing? Um, this is it from the back. So just really the same, the same sort of thing. I personally don't like this. I think it drowns me out. It drowns me out? Dr Basically, the colour drains me. I think that's what I was going for um so yeah this is a no-go for me like I said if it's something that you like the colors that you like I'd probably say see I'd say I could fit into easily an 18 in this um so maybe size down one uh, but yeah this is a no-go for me okay so the next thing I bought is this I love mustard uh, not the flavor the color um and I really like this again it's a bark not bardo bias cut uh, or empire line cut um and it's a square neck this one i am i am i am a little bit worried that it's gonna be a bit too broad i have quite narrow shoulders even though i'm a bit of a chub um but i think maybe a bit broad and it does look really see-through this is a size 22 it's called a plus square neck ruffle hem cami cami yeah cami top mustard um i bought this specifically to try with this i love the idea of blazers at the minute especially in spring or in autumn i really think these are really nice so i'm hoping this is going to fit me nicely but i thought with jeans a top and a blazer i think it look, could look quite nice so let's give it a go okay so this is a no-go um, as you can tell it is way broader than i am across here and it's also really see-through which is why i've kept my vest top underneath um so this is far too broad for me but it's also it fits fine here but it's, it's an alright length, but I just I feel like the quality is not really great. Um, I'd probably have to tuck in them to make it flat, otherwise it just gapes, as you can see. Um, but I do love the colour. Onto the blazer though, I love the blazer. Um, it doesn't have pockets though. Well, that was a light down. Um, I think this blazer is lovely. I bought them both in a size 22. Um, the blazer is plenty oversized, so definitely go with that i have rolled the sleeves up because i've got short arms and i feel like it just looks nicer um, and from the back it is lower at the back so if you don't like your bum being on show this is definitely a go-to but like i said top is no go but i just love the blazer so the blazer is a massive thumbs up it's so comfortable there's a tiny bit of stretch in it which means that it's just not as restrictive and my arms have plenty of movement um one problem i normally have is either thick thighs or thick bingo wings um but this is absolutely fine so i'm definitely gonna keep this this isn't gonna stay 
The next item I got was this kimono. Now I love this sort of clothing and this style of clothing, um, but I don't think I can pull it off or, or I think I can pull it off. And then when I go to wear it in real life rather than just for a video or a photo, I panic and then take it off because I'm like, oh, people are gonna think I'm trying too hard. But I did buy this one to go with this vest top. Um, I thought the yellow might pop in it. I think all I'm gonna need to do is find a new um, mustard cami. But this is like a kimono style. It is called the Plus Oriental Floral Maxi Kimono Navy. And I got this in a size 20. I got this in a size 20 because there's no 22. That's the, the, re the reason. And I thought with it being a kimono, it might be okay sizing. So let's try it on and see what we think. Okay, so this is the kimono. And like I thought, it's plenty big enough. Size 20. Um, and then lengthwise, it is pretty long but it's not too long that it drags now i'm five foot six so if you're five foot four or below i'd say this is not a goer um, unless you want to hem it but i really like this um, again this top is really ill-fitting but i just kept on to to show you um, but yeah i really like this i think in spring this would be lovely um and i'm yeah i just really like this so it's a size 20 i think the quality feels really nice it's plenty big enough like around the back it's not stretchy, it, uh, not stretchy, it's not pulling, it's just plenty big enough. So this is a massive yes for me. Um, so I'm really glad because I love, I love the blazer and I love this. So yeah, I really like this. The other thing that I bought to go with this kimono, where is it, um, is this skirt. So if you know me at all, you'll know that I am not a big leg fan, as in, I have chubby legs, they're pale, I don't like them being on show. So I probably, how would I say this? I would wear this with tights more than anything, but I thought, oh, this could look quite cute, but I think this is gonna to be too short. Um, I'll put it on and I'll show you. Okay, so the skirt fits. I actually really like it. So it's really stretchy. My only concern that I have, I got this in a size 22. So firstly, I've never bought denim from Boohoo because I always think, it's not gonna fit me, no point in even trying, but this does. So at the top, there's plenty of room. I probably could have sized down one. The only thing I'd say is it's a bit too flary at the bottom. So maybe I should size down to a size 20 because I'd rather it be fitted around the legs. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But yeah, this is the skirt. Like I said, I don't normally wear, uh, buy denim from Boohoo and I don't normally have my legs out. So just don't <laughs> ignore the pasty legs. Um, with tights, I think it'd be really cute. It's so comfortable. So I don't know if you can see, it's like a a grey, a blacky grey. I don't have any denim skirts at the minute, so this is a is a winner, but I definitely think I want this in a size 20, not in a size 22. And it is, it's really comfortable. Um, I think it goes with a kimono. What do you think? It's not too short. Um, I don't think I'd want it any shorter. I could probably pull it up if I want it shorter and I could, because it's coming to here, I could potentially pull it down if I wanted it longer. But again, I think if I went longer, it would then flare a bit too much. Um, but yeah, for someone who doesn't get the legs out, I actually quite like this, but I can just do that. And then you'll have to see my legs. But I think this would be really cute for, for summer. Again, this is really terribly fitting, but I think this would be really nice for summer. So this is a massive, massive yes. So three things so far, this is going really well. I'm really proud of myself, so yes. So whilst we're talking about denim, I bought a new pair of jeans. Um, if you have seen, I think, the ASOS video is going to go up first. Um, if it is, if it hasn't, ignore what I'm about to say. But I bought a pair of um, mum jeans on ASOS, and they were actually they were really nice. They were just a bit too big. I bought a similar pair on Boohoo, but these aren't. They were called mum jeans, I think, or am I wrong? No, they were called plus ripped cut off stretch skinny jean. So completely wrong. Um, but again, they've got the the kind of distressed look without having your skin showing because that's not my kind of cup of tea. And then at the bottom, they're a bit cut off. So being a shorty, I thought that it might work really well for me. I bought these in a size 24. So like I said, never bought denim from Boohoo. So I was very unsure on one, how stretchy they'd be and two, what the fit would be like. I only really buy my jeans from Tesco because I know them. And I normally I'm a 20 in Tesco, but they are ridiculously stretchy. And these are too. So I'm gonna try these on and hopefully they will fit. Okay, so the jeans are on. I don't know how I feel. Firstly, stop sizing up. Um, these are massive. So I don't know whether you can, got loads of room there and they come up 
so high, there's just so much room. Sorry for the white stomach. No summer and I don't, I don't wear a bikini, so never see the sun. I do really like the rips on these ones, but the legs are not stretchy enough. So my legs only just fit into these. So if I was gonna go down to a size 20, they would not fit me. Um, length wise, they're a bit of a funny length on me. They don't come up enough. Um, like I, I like them to be just above the ankle and these aren't. And also because my calves are wider, you see more skin. Um, so yeah, don't size up in them unless you have big legs. I really don't, I'm not giving you much advice anyway. But anyway, these are the back. So again, you can see far too big. Um, so I did not need to size up. But yeah, I like this, the, I like the rips. I don't like where they finish at the end and they are too big. And because my car is so wide, they're not coming up high enough. So I've got all this gappage. So let's just move on, shall we? Okay, my second to last item is this dress. Now, this is going to be the riskiest thing I have bought in quite some time. Um, there is no flair to it. There is no stretch to it. It is a mini dress and it is meant to be fitted. And if any of you know me, I don't like anything fitted around my stomach. It's just not me. I don't feel comfortable. Mm -mm. But I have seen this dress so many times on Boohoo, probably for two years, I want to say, way before lockdown. Um, and I wished I could fit into it. So I purchased it. I got this in a size 24. And I think I should have, I mean, they don't do a size 26 in this, but this, I don't think it's going to fit me. Um, so it is called the Plus Lace and Sequin Plunge Mini Dress in Black. I don't like a plunge neckline, so I'll probably pin it. Um, but yeah, this is a massive risk and I just, fingers crossed, it doesn't look terrible on. Okay, so as expected, it's dreadful. Um, this is far too low cut, so I would like pin it. But also, it's just, it's just too fitted for me. It's really emphasising my tummy area. I mean, this line going across, is that the line? No, it's not even a line, but it just looks, it just looks horrendous. So, this straight away is a big no. I'll show you the back just so you can see. Is that seeable? Yes. Um, but yeah, not for me. It's far too revealingly, revealingly? Revealing and fitted um love the pattern love the fabric it's really nice dress on the right person but for me i'm too much of a of an apple here so this is a no go okay so my final dress for the haul is this maxi dress it is called the plus floral high neck maxi dress ivory in a size 22. i just love the look of this there was this one and there was also a darker color but i thought i'd go lighter for the summer but now I'm wishing I'd also got the darker one. Um, but let's just try it on and and see what it looks like. It is it is very thin, I'll have to say, which could be good for summer. It's a high neck and it's adjustable at the back, which is great. Um, but yeah, let's just try it on and hope for the best. Okay, so the dress is on. It's, it's far too big. So I got this in a size 22 and as you can see, it's far too big. Um, I also think the colour really washes me out. I really like the dress, love the dress. It's thin, but it's not see-through. I love the neckline, but it's just too big and the colour's just not right for me. So I'm gonna send this one back and order the darker one in a size 20. And it is lengthwise for all you shorties out there. I'm five, five foot, five and a half, five foot six, and it is dragging with heels, it'd be fine. I walk a lot like this anyway. I feel like you know like the ugly sisters in Cinderella. Um, but when I always find myself with a long right on, I always end up gathering it. So it probably wouldn't be an issue for me, but it might be for, for anyone who's any shorter than me or doesn't walk like an ugly stepsister from Cinderella. But yes, dress, quality is really nice. Fabric is nice. Fit is great if it was a size smaller. Okay, so that is the end of the haul. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything that you liked that I didn't or if you didn't like anything that I did. Any feedback is welcome to a certain extent um but yes please like and subscribe i'd really appreciate it and i'd love to see you back here on my next video i hope you're having a lovely week and i will see you soon